Just envelop yourself in what we're thinking about by the grace of God. Um, and even if it's a new song, just try and follow along.
Before I pray, I'm going to share this Bible verse with you. Uh, Psalms chapter 5, verse 7 through 8. It says, But I, through the abundance of your steadfast love, will enter your house. I will bow down towards your holy temple in the fear of you. Lead me, O Lord, in your righteousness because of my enemies. Make your way straight before me. Father, I pray here today that during this service, during this praise worship, during, um, during this gathering that we have today, that we can lay down all the all the burdens and all the sufferings that we have brought here uh, father remind us of your grace remind us of the grace of god that has brought us to this point in our lives so far uh, remind us that the grace of god will um, take us to where we need to be take us to where you yes, want us Lord. to be uh, father uh, do not let us forget during this time that the grace of god is what uh, what brings us here today um, and what what pushes us and what brings us in and what you use to pull us through our lives. Uh, Father, remind us of your grace throughout these songs um, that we'll be singing today. In your name we pray. Oh, oh, oh. 
Amen. Mm-hmm.
All right, before we start this next song, I'm going to share this Bible verse with you guys. Um, Matthew 7, verse 7 through 8. Ask and it will be given to you. Seek and you will find. Knock and it will be opened to you. For everyone who asks receives, and the one who seeks finds, and to the one who knocks it will be opened. As we sing this next song, um, it's called Give Me Faith. Uh, let, us, let this be our proclamation to God, our request to God to give us faith. Rejoice and be glad, for your reward is great in heaven, for so they persecuted the prophets who were before you. This next song is My King Forever. Um, like that verse says, uh, Christians in today's world face a lot of prosecution. So um, this is a proclamation of God that uh, for everything he sacrificed for us, it doesn't matter what the world thinks of us. It's um, God is our treasure that I find. Uh, God is our, our, pray, uh, our, God is our Lord. 
praise that we give to, to our Lord. Uh, this is the praise that we give to the one who saved our lives. Amen.
After his hair spent everything, there was a fierce famine in the whole country. He began to be in need. So he went and hired himself out to the citizen of that country, who sent him to the fields to feed the pigs. He longed to fill his stomach with the paws that the pigs were eating, but no one gave him anything. When he came to his senses, he said, How many of my father's hired servants have food to spare? And here I am sorry to death. I must set out and go back to my father and say to him, Father, I have sinned against heaven and against you. I am no longer worthy to be called your son. Make me like one of your hired servants. So he got out and went to his father. But while he was still a long way off, his father saw him and was filled with compassion for him. He ran to his son, threw his arms around him and kissed him. The son said to him, Father, I have sinned against heaven and against you. I am no longer worthy to be called your son. But the father said to his servants, Quick, bring the best robe and put it on it on him. Put a ring on his finger and sandals on his feet. Bring the fattened calf and kill him. Let's have a feast and celebrate. For this son of mine was dead and is alive again. He was lost and is found. So they began to celebrate. Meanwhile, the older son was in the field. When he came near the house, he heard music and dancing. So he called one of the servants and asked him what was going on. Your brother has come, he replied. And your father has killed the fattened calf because he has him back and safe and sound. The older brother came in, became angry and refused to go in. So the father went out and pleaded with him. But he answered his father, Look, all these years I've been slaving for you and never disobeyed your orders. Yet you never gave me even young girls so I could celebrate with my friends. But when the son of yours who has squandered your property and who prostitutes comes home, you kill a fat and calf him. My son, the father said, you are always with me and everything I have is yours. You had to celebrate and be glad because this brother of yours was dead and is alive again. He was lost in his front. Amen. And the song is going to be the last song I sing today. It's called Reckless Love. Um, no matter if we're the prodigal son that's squandered away his father's wealth, or the son that stood by his father's side working diligently, or if we're one of the 99 sheep of the 100 that are with the shepherd, or the one, she one sheep that's lost, um, no matter our sins and imperfections, or our faith and, and our service to the Lord, God's kindness to us, God's, God's grace to us is everlasting, it's, it's consistent. Um, as we sing this last song, uh, let us think about the overwhelming love of God, the never ending and reckless love of God. So I'll stand for this final song.